like that. <laughs> you remember me? It's a deja vu. Got it when I spoke it to existence in the stove. AMG, alright, pick the light, whatever move. Whatever I please. That's it, please. What's up with it, KOTV? We back with another video, as you can see, man. How y'all doing, man? Let me know in the comments, bro. If you want to know how I'm doing, I'm doing excellent, man. I woke up this morning feeling blessed, feeling excellent. A little doobie right here, man. It's all the little gas I got right here, man. So, I'm finna smoke this boy with y'all. Me and my boy Tay. And so, we finna have us a little grub talk, man. Yeah, you know. We had one of those before. If you didn't watch that, go watch that now. I'll put the link in the description so y'all can see the first one. First one we was we was eating meat and shit back then. You know, we ain't on that type of time. We we vibrating on another type of level, you feel me? You feel me, reflection? <laughs> so. What y'all think though? Y'all think it's time to spot that bit up? Cause I think it's about that time too. I think it's about that motherfucking time. And we got a ghetto lighter there. We ain't even got no little cool little small lighter. We gotta use that bit long. We, do got a we got cool little small lighter. That be the we gotta use the long barbecue light. <laughs> hey, we gotta use that long red barbecue lighter, man. I got me a nut. I got whatever um, I said. I got mm. me another five seven. I love that thing, man. I picked one, two, three. Five, seven, eight, 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 eight. Yes, sir. That's and then. They be pearl, and it's, they be the wood. They be smaller fuck though. It's like one of the smallest wood I ever seen in my life. New world record. So right now, man, I'm currently waiting on my damn food to get here. I got some cheese sticks, some uh, pasta, a shrimp pasta, a cheesecake. And that was it. I think take out. I don't know what take out. What you get, bro? Oh. The, the shrimp pasta with the penne noodles, uh, some bread sticks, and the cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, man. That cheesecake finna be smacking. Kid, y'all not. As soon as I just ended that last clip, bro, motherfucking Tay just said the food here, nigga. We lit. Nigga hungry as hell. I ain't eat shit all day for real, for real. The only thing I ate was an apple, uh, some pretzels, and some candy, bro. Nigga ain't eat all day for real, for real. That's probably why I'm losing weight, man. Like, I done lost so much weight, and I don't need to lose no weight. I'm skinny as hell, dude. Like, bro, I'm pretty sure like most women are goddamn way more than mine. Like, no cow. I'm a little nigga, but that's why I put a man martial arts though. Cause it's finna get it's finna get gritty out in this motherfucker out in these streets, man. You know, catch just kid ain't got that stick up on me. I'ma learn how to use nunchucks and everything. Had a bitch in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> nigga finna eat like a motherfucking boss. Like the boss of my motherfucking is. You feel me? Let me show y'all my food though. Hold on. This is this right here is what you call perfection, bro. Perfection in a motherfucking plate, man. Just look at the plate. I gotta take them sausages out. Y'all just chill. Oh, but you got sausages, sausages in that bed. Okay. It don't matter, bro. The sausage juice is in that. Gonna be in that, bro. But so they say the same thing. I'm not even supposed to be eating shrimp. So you feel me? Exactly. Just, just spare me the details. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let me give y'all a little update, man, on like how we living now. So, you want to go? You want to go first? On like, on like the route lifestyle. we taking? Yeah, our lifestyle now. Because I, I told him I was going to catch him up on how like I've been, uh, how I became pescatarian and all that shit now. But shit, I'm probably finna just be a vegetarian now. I'm probably just finna, me, I'm probably just finna stick to goddamn. Like, so, when you, so us gods and goddesses, you know, your Latinos and your Blacks and all that. You are not supposed to be eating dead flesh. You're not supposed to be putting dead flesh in your body. So, 
You can't be eating shrimp because them bottom feeders. You can't be eating lobster, all them catfish. If, it, if it's at the bottom or if it's eating shit you wouldn't be eating yeah. or dead shit, that's going to sit in their body. So if you eating it, it's going to sit in your body. It's not meant for us. The white folks can eat it because what they made out of, then the wolves, pigs, and all that shit. So they can eat that. Snub nose monkey. They, they they cool killing the deer and chopping them up eating them. That's that that's that's how they live. Yeah. That's how they live when they were wolves and shit. So of course they're gonna do that. Us we, we like plants. We water, a lot of water. We, we don't we don't try to keep back on the juice. Facts. Juice juice is cool, but a lot of them good juice. Yeah, facts. Most of the juice in the store is ain't good for you. That's why you can make your own juice, man. Like, get you just, like, some, uh, your favorite fruits, like watermelon or whatever. Make you juice. Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, chop up some watermelon and put some, uh, squeeze some lime in that beer. Tell you, that be good as hell. I actually tried that beer. I had seen it on this, like, little, uh, Instagram account. Shit was 10, 10. I'm not supposed to be eating some fish. But there is some fish out there that you can eat. So, do your research. We're going to start going on plants and shit because most of fruits and vegetables not good in the grocery store have been tampered with. Been tampered with. Po AKA poison. Yeah, you know, you know, like shit. Every, the things we use in our everyday life, goddamn. I got to. You gotta look into the toothpaste you're using and shit. Make sure you ain't got no fluoride in it. Eating water. This shit going crazy. My last time eating shrimp gonna be on December 25th. After that, I ain't eating no more uh, shrimp. I can do it with. Chicken and all that stuff. Yeah. And I barely eat shrimp anyway. Well, I do. Shrimp and a lot. When I went pescatarian, I went crazy with shrimp. Like I picked shrimp on everything. Salad. Tacos. I went straight to shrimp tacos. <laughs> Pesadillas. Throw the shrimp in there. I thought it was right, but got a little more knowledge than me. <clears throat> yeah, nice. Mushrooms, though. Get into y'all mushrooms. Mushrooms are very high in protein. And I think you all got to get big from eating meat. You don't. No. There's plenty. There's plenty of things out there you can eat. Work out. And you drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. My bad, y'all. I'm caught, but I need to fuck this shit up, oh, boy. This is almost done with his shit. And I ain't gonna lie, though, bro. Nigga be feeling so good, too, bro. Ever since I thought it was meat, bro. I don't feel like I've I, I even feel like I've been on top of the world lately, like. like I mean, them motherfuckers used to say, like, oh, that, that low vibration of that food. I'm like, boy, y'all just talking bullshit. Shit, I see what them niggas talking about now, boy. Oh, I'm calling these folks crazy until you know what they talking about. Facts. <clears throat> but you really take time to listen, it'll it hit you. Yeah, man, just do your own research. That's just bottom at the end of the day. Just do your own research, man. All right. Don't just go off what the fuck these damn white folks telling us and shit. Yeah, you gotta think about it. We got enslaved by them. What makes you think they gonna teach us? Think about it. The jobs we getting, who, who dream is it good? They dream it. Make sure you, you build your own journey. Thanks. Cause if you think about it, 
It's all just modern day slavery, bro. <laughs> you just like they they giving you the choices and making you think that's that's how there is to life. Mm-hmm. They keep they only pick doctors and firefighters, policemen, and all that in your head growing up. So you thinking, oh, that's all it is. Like, I want to be a firefighter. We need so much, so much more. Like plumbers make more money than teachers. Yeah. But. It's some niggas I know working for themselves making more than lawyers. There's some people I know went to college forever. And they they only getting paid so and so amount. But I'm grateful to be making more than half the people. For real though, man. Like I'm making more money than grown folks and I'm shit. I'm 19 shit. And I ain't got them do to do nine year of college, bro. You feel me? I'm finna start working at my job. Trying to find a way so I can stop start working at a job and goddamn goddamn take um lose my own time. Do shit that's beneficial for me and not for them. You feel me? Say, man, say, man, I made it back to the crib. You already know, safe and sound. Uh, So let me just give you guys a little update, man. Let me just give you guys a little one-on-one -on -one about, like, what I've been doing in my life and shit like that. And then I'm going to wrap this video up. Okay, so um, first off, the reason why I did go pescatarian is because, like, you're not supposed to be eating no meat. Like, we were not meant to eat meat, especially as black folks and Latinos. We're not meant to eat that shit, man. That shit's not good for us. Um... I do believe energy never dies. So imagine eating goddamn pigs and cows and shit like that before they die. You feel me? These niggas going through fucking trauma and all this shit. Like, and you just eating that shit, bro. When you eat so much meat, bro, you be feeling like shit, bro. Like, you don't be feeling good at all. Like, you feel me? Um, since I didn't went that route, I've been feeling excellent. I feel more healthier than ever. I will say I've had lost like a lot of weight though. No care. I probably lost like eight pounds in like two weeks, bro. I'm like, that's crazy. But I ain't been eating too much, though. That's probably why, though. So I can't really just say it's because I'm a pescatarian, for real, for real. Hell yeah, man. I've been trying to do things to make me a better person, bro. I'm going to start working out more once I get my car. Because I used to have to pay for like an Uber to go to work out. So I'm like, bro, ain't nobody finna keep buying a fucking Uber to work out. It's fucking crazy. Hell no, I already got to pay... Or a damn, what's that shit called? A subscription, I guess. So I can goddamn come in that bitch whenever I want. And then I gotta pay a fucking Uber to get there and back. <sighs> but that shit dead as fuck. I honestly do feel like whenever you like eat healthier and work out more, you feel me? You most definitely become like a better person overall. You start picking up like more habits. You start more, uh, you start wanting to do more things in life. You don't just want to sit down on your ass. You want to be like, you know what? Maybe I should get into this type of hobby or this or this or this or this, whatever it is, whatever it may be. Um, I, daily, I meditate daily. I'm finna meditate after I get done editing this video, actually. Uh, I'm meditating in the shower. I take shower meditations. You feel me? You can do any types of meditation. You can meditate while laying down. You can meditate while cleaning. You can do a whole lot of shit, bro. Like, meditating is really whatever you want it to be. Like, I do, like, a lot of manifestation meditations, though. Those are my favorite. Because I'm able to, like, clear my mind and focus on, like, visioning myself as where I want to be in life. You feel me? Like, as a successful YouTuber. I can really see the vision whenever I sit down to meditate. Like, it's so clear. Like, I could really talk about this all day, but I ain't finna talk to y'all but I ain't finna run y'all heads off. That's gonna be for the next video, man. And I guess it's kind of like lucid dreaming, I guess. Cause like, I'll like, before I go to sleep, I take like, I take deep breaths. And I think about like me being wealthy or me being a successful YouTuber over and over. Like I, that keeps going on in my head. And then I'll have a dream about it. And I'll be like, yo, what the fuck? Like, maybe that's just the future for me. That's all I, that's all I see it like. Um, I also want to say 
can't nobody stop you but you, man. You feel me? Like, whatever you put into your head is what you're going to see. You do have to think about that. Like, do you not understand how much power that is? Whatever you think of, speak of is what you see. Like, that really becomes part of your reality. So why think negative? Everything has a negative and a positive. It's all about what you want to focus on more. Like, I focus on more of the positive things than any situation. Like, I always try to make sure the positive outweigh the negative. It don't matter what it is. Like, and that's why I don't really trip about shit. Like, I haven't really been tapped into my emotions recently. Like, I don't be sad, mad, or none of that shit. I just, I feel like the only emotion I go through is goddamn, I feel great. I feel amazing. Like, can't shit piss me off. Like, I'll just brush that shit off. Like, I know this shit ain't gonna matter in five minutes, so why I care about it now? Like, I don't be caring about shit. Like, ain't nothing finna change my mood, but I feel great and I'm gonna continue to feel great. You feel me? But um, I really do like recommend like meditating before you uh before you go to work before you start your day, uh before you go to sleep. I really do recommend that just in case like especially if you have like um anxiety depression you feel like you be stressed out like really take some time to yourself and breathe like breathe like you you don't understand like how like important breath work is breath work is really important like. Why you think whenever you get mad, you take a deep breath so you don't react in a way. So imagine once you like sitting down for like an hour or 30 minutes and you setting good intentions in your head and you breathe in, right? You breathe in right. You locked in with yourself, bro. You can the fucking world is yours, man. But hey, I'm gonna wrap this video up, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end of this video, I want to say I greatly appreciate it. You guys are the goats, man. Shout out to my OGs. And shout out to my new people, man. I love y'all. You feel me? Y'all like my family. Y'all are my family. But if you're new to the channel, man, leave a like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. And also, man, please do not forget to turn on the ring of notification because we're dropping every day, bro. Stay true to yourself. Stay blessed. And we out.